So we've set up our merge. It's going to save the job. And then eventually it's going to bring us back to the home screen on Autocrat, which will then give us the ability to go ahead and run the job. So we're back at the home screen. We have all of our existing jobs that we made. Ours is down at the bottom that we've just done. And I want to run it now. So what I'm going to do is hover over my merge, or my job, I should say, and the little play button comes up, which is going to be the run job. I'm just going to press it, and then all of this dialog is going to come up on the screen. It's going to tell me that the sequence has started. It's going to tell me that the rows will be merged. How many rows? I have three students, so the fact that it's merging three rows is perfect. And then it's going to start merging my docs, and it will tell me line by line as it goes. Okay, so our merge is complete. I'm just going to close out of Autocrat by clicking the little X in the upper right hand corner. And in my Google Sheet, I can see a few columns that have been created. I don't need to do anything with this information, but it's just nice to know that it's there. Um, it just tells me information about the merge docs, and then it tells me that it's been merged successfully and who the emails were sent to. You are done on your end of things now, but I wanna show you what it looks like on the receiving end of the document. Um, so I had to just send to some of my emails that I've created. And in this case, I had Toby's score. I'm gonna to pretend I'm Toby's parent. And this is what I got in the email. So it says, hi Toby, here are your scores from unit one. And it gives me the document that I'm able to open up. And here is the populated Google document. Notice we don't have any tags in there anymore and all of our tags are filled out with the information that we um, put in our Google Sheets with the name at the top, the date, the scores, and then any comments that we wrote at the bottom. So that's what it looks like on the parent and student side of things. Since we set it up where we can allow students or parents to comment, they're able to do that on this document. One final thing, if you made a mistake or you missed anything, you can always go back and rerun um, the merge, but just keep in mind that every time you set, you um, you rerun it, it will still send out the email unless you set it to not run out the new email, if that makes any sense. Um, but you can always go back and edit your merges. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really enjoyed using Autocrat Mail Merge um, over the past couple of years, one or two years, I guess. Um, but if you find something that is not working or you find a mistake or have a question, just let me know. And I hope you can find this as much of a time saver as I do. And the more you use it, the more you will be using it for a lot more things. Thanks, guys. See you later.